Charity from Radovin Bay Secondary School. I need an assistant to this question. I'm so confused. Can you help me, please? This one for the first time. Simple question where they're just testing your ability to read off the grid, okay? Ah, here is another correlation question. It says, use your calculator to determine the correlation coefficient. The first and question. It says for the following data set, 9523367495, uh, 4, 10, and 9. Determine the mean value of this particular data set. Please remember that I said to you, you don't necessarily need to use the manual version of solving for this and trying to add all the values and dividing by the total number. You don't really need to do that. You can go straight to your calculate. With that one, I was just trying to show you how does adding a certain value affect the mean that you had. But for now, we can just go straight to the calculate. Remember, you need to make sure that it is in state mode and also we're taking option number one, which is one mi minus variance. So let's look at that. I have my calculator there. So firstly, we make sure that it is in state mode, which we're taking the variance. And then I'm going to put it here. I've got 9, 5, 2, 3, 3, 6, 7, 4, 10, and 9. So it says I have... Uh, 10 terms there. So let's just make sure that we do have 10 terms. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we do have 10 terms. You just need to try and make sure, guys, because you know some, some mistakes that we make are really unnecessary. So that, that will be my data set. You press your old clear, shift, number one, which is dead. We're talking about number one, which is uh, number four, which is the variance. I want the mean, so it will be number two, which is equal to the x bar. So I will say uh, my x bar is then equals to I think it was five comma eight, and that will be the mean of this value. Um, if I was marking this, I would then just do this two marks because you're getting two marks for that, meaning you know how to use your calculate. The second question wants us to find the variance and standard deviation. Now, this is what I want you guys to please understand between the two. Standard deviation squared gives us the variance. The square root of the standard deviation gives us the... Uh, the square root of the variance gives us the standard deviation. You see what I'm trying to say? So SD, which is standard deviation, squared is equal to the variance. But the square root of the variance is then the standard deviation. So I'm just trying to show you what the difference between the two is. Now, what we can find from the, question, the, the calculator will be what the standard deviation is. So I'm just going to go to my calculator. Remember, we press our old clear uh, shift number one, and then four, and this will then be, uh, because I want my standard deviation, I take option three, it is equal to a 2,71, rounded off to two decimal places, right? So the number after the one is less than five, so it will just remain one. Then from here, what I then have is this squared will then give me the variance that they want us to find. So this will then be uh, the variance. So this will then be equal to the square root of that will be 2,71 all squared, which is then equal to, so uh, let's just do this, 2,71 squared is equal to a 7,34. So 7,34. And that will be my variance that they wanted me to find. Now, with everything that I've tried to show you here, guys, it, it had all to do with the two things. Uh, you finding the mean and you finding the standard deviation. If you know the standard deviation, it means you know what your variance is going to be. So that's what you please need to look at. And then determine the percentage of the points within one standard deviation of the mean. Now, within one standard deviation of the mean, it means this is going to be my mean there. One standard deviation will be the standard deviation there, 
which is plus, and then this side it will then be standard deviation. We are subtracting that particular value from the mean. So that's one standard deviation, and remember that is 68%, but we want for the data points that we do actually have. So what then I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a range not a range really, but a minimum value and a maximum value that I will check which values fall between those two to try and find how many values are there and what is the percentage of those values. Then to go back uh, quickly, we said our mean, remember we said our mean is 5.8, right? And then our standard deviation is 2.71. So it will be X bar minus the standard deviation so this is then going to be equal to uh, 7,8 minus 2,71, which is then equals to, uh, so I have 7,8 minus 2,71. This is equals to 5,09. So 5,09, that's the, the minimum value. The maximum value will be x bar plus the standard deviation again. And please forgive me, I know that my standard deviation looks like I'm saying 6x, right? but remember, I just have a million dollar handwriting, so you can't, you can't touch me. You can't touch this. Do, 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 do. I'm sorry, guys. You know what maths does to us? It really makes us look like we are lunatics, but in the actual fact, we are lunatics. When you know maths, you are not normal. So I'm not normal but I'm happy about it, I'm proud. And the answer will be 10,51, so I have 10,51. So it means the minimum is five and the, and the maximum is 10. So I go back to my data set, I look at all the terms that are between five and uh, 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so it means all of them are within one standard deviation of this thing because if you look at your standard deviation I do I do have a 10 there sorry about that I do have a 10 there but this is greater than the 10 because it's 10 comma 5 1 so it would then mean that a hundred percent of those numbers will then be lying within one standard deviation of what I'm trying to say so what we are gonna do is if we knew what maybe it was less Let's say I had seven terms. I'd say seven divided by the total multiplied by 100, right? And it will give me whatever percentage it gives me. But with this one, I have 10 out of 10 of the terms lying within one standard deviation, which will then give me 100%. So that's what I have there.